Well, going with a lower price Model 3 with a shorter range gives Elon the opportunity to meet these very ambitious sales volume targets he has. You know, they're planning to, pr to produce 400,000 Model 3s this year. That's a lot of Model 3s, and you can't sell them all at over $50,000. So having a lower price Model 3 should bring in new customers, should be, bring in value customers. The average price of a car in the United States these days is $37,000. So this makes it a Joe Average kind of Tesla for the first time. You know, promise back two years ago, Emily, and so in some respects, this isn't news, but in other respects, it's probably the biggest news since the Model 3 itself was announced because the simple math was that most um, or there are many people felt that this car to get to $35,000 and to produce it profitably was impossible. And so um, I think that that is what is so important here. The 35000 it doesn't sound uh, like it's that significant, but compare that to the rest of the car industry, which the few that do have EVs are typically at 70,000 plus right now. And you can start to quickly see why Tesla's 80% market share that they had in the U.S. last year on electric vehicles, can they can maintain uh, that kind of share, at least in the near term, the next one or two years. Probably need to go and rethink where, what our estimate will be for this year and for next year. But the simple takeaway is this, is if you look at the broader market, there's 80 million vehicles sold a year. Last year globally is 1% of those were electric. In the future, there's no question that 100% uh, of vehicles, now that might be two years from, uh, 10 years from now or, or, or 30 years from now, but that's uh, ultimately where we're going. And so I think how many can they sell? What does it mean for the model is this can be a significantly bigger company because of the $35,000 price. It's typical of automakers, and I know Tesla is not a typical automaker, but usually you start with the higher price models because that, that gives you the biggest profits. It gives you the payback. And then you move down the price ladder and start putting out the lower price models and go for the volume. So you need to get a critical mass going with those high price ones. He's achieved that, but now he has these very ambitious production targets. And in order to sell all those cars he plans to produce, he really needs to have a lower price model. You know, he once again, as we know, put out a tweet that said they are uh, at a 500,000 rate on the Model 3 when, in fact, they're going to produce 400,000 this year, and he had to correct that. So he continues to tweet unfettered, and that's the issue the SEC has. I'm a believer in the Tesla story and believe in Elon Musk and, and think that he is uh, still better that he is part of the company. But nonetheless, I was at one point uh, six, nine months ago hopeful that he could change and unfortunately, he's not going to change. He's going to continue to do some reckless things on the edges. And I, I just hope that uh, at least this recklessness doesn't actually impact the business because the company does have a wonderful mission. And I think they're in a great place to change the world. Initial units will likely not be profitable. I can't imagine them making money on them for the next several months. But they do have ambitions. And they talked about in the December quarter that gross margins should be 20 percent ish on the, the Model 3. And so uh, now that was with an average selling price of just over $50,000. So as you kind of scale that back to 35, uh, I think that the, the math is there. And I mentioned that earlier. I think that that's the real substance here is that they're able to produce a car at, uh, I think the average price is going to end up being close to 40000 at the end of the day, but still at a much lower price and be profitable. And as long as they can keep it to really 5% or better uh, margins on that, I think investors would be thrilled because of the size of this growth curve is, uh, is, is one of the biggest ways coming in tech. Secondly, um, you know, I think they teased an announcement, uh, and the $35,000 car was uh, largely expected, and so I think there is a bit of sell the news uh, going on with, with the stock this morning. Um, but certainly, I, I think this is a, a very big milestone for the industry and for Tesla to reach a, a vehicle that, that's hitting this price point. And, and part of what's happening here uh, as they close stores is that they're just maturing into what looks like, a, you know, the rest of the auto supply chain in terms of having uh, more service centers uh, and areas where folks can interact with the car rather than having these stores that um, really are, are more of a, a branding and marketing exercise. Your business model is flawed and it's, it's, it's doomed and it's going to fail.